Hey guys, we are here to do another uh, Etsy store new product share. We're gonna work on a journal page. I'm gonna talk to you about my design team and other creative friends who are using my projects, uh, my projects, my products in some of their videos. So um, for the month of February, I have decided to go ahead and release the remaining stencils that were developed before New Year, um, which include scratches one, two, and three which are these three. And then we have Breathe, Three Faces of Me, um, Silenced. I hope you can see these on camera. I know it's a little distracting. We need like a solid piece of paper, <laughs> which why do I not have a solid piece of paper? I have that, um, that's not gonna help. Let's see, there we go. Silenced. And then we have, oops, Scream. Uh, quiet. Some of these were developed with um, the Facebook group Art Through Chronic Pain in mind. Um, and enlighten. So they are all currently available in my Etsy shop. You can find the link in the video description. I am going to create an art journal page with um, one of them. I think we're going to use enlighten um, today and um, we're going to see where that gets us and I have no idea what the message wants to be but I know I want to continue working in this journal and trying to get it finished as we discussed last month. Um, and I want to do some collage on top of the um, random painting background that's already here. Now this particular stencil is another one that's in my um, Etsy shop. I think it's Berry Tops, but I don't actually remember the name of it without looking. There are three blueberry inspired stencils. This is one of them. I will link it specifically in the description below in case you're interested. Um, anyway, I'm going to speed forward through the process and I'll be right back. Sorry guys, I forgot to turn the camera back on again um, after I turned the radio on. And I put my collage pieces on here in the pattern in which you saw in the beginning clip. And then I just started adding painting marks to the page. I'm gonna continue adding marks to it and completing my journal page. This time I will actually turn the camera on and we'll keep going and we'll create our page and I'll be back at the end.
You know, it's messier than I would normally like, but I like it. I do think I need to add some sort of direction or focus to the piece. I love what it says, working towards enlightenment and peace. Um, I think I need to do something. It could be as simple as um, white dots, maybe. I do have a white um, whiteout pen, so let's try that. Make sure it's working first. If you've seen my old video about whiteout pens and how to unclog them, you know whiteout pens and I have a love-hate relationship <laughs> on a good day. Yeah, that's not going to give me what I want, so it's too scratchy, but I have some white acrylic paint right here, so let's do that. And I'm going to just take my finger That's better. I like that. We're going to leave it at that and let it dry. I love what it says. I like the way it looks, although it's messier than I normally go for. It looks great. You'll notice I did do the stencil on a piece that was a sheet of deli paper. You could use tissue, anything thin. It will do a couple things. The deli paper is nice because it's a little thicker than tissue. So it will add a, like a, a white haze to the background, the kind of chaotic background, so that the stenciled image stands out more. I used that to my advantage in this case, I love it. And then I stenciled the image in black so that it would really show up. So that's it, I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. Leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. I have a bunch of friends and design team members that are using my products, they're creating videos. I'm gonna share their links and their videos, uh, their channels, when I can, where I can, over in the design team blog page, so check that out. Um, there will be guest creators, I think is the word I'm looking for, that uh, will be periodically added in too. So check it out and you know you might want to go over there and bookmark it so you can check it one, at least once a month. I edit it as often as I can. Anyway, um, so check that out. You can also use hashtag Gina B. Aaron's designs and there should, or Gina B. Aaron's, either one of those and there should be a bunch of videos on here on YouTube that, sh that pop up. Anyway, um, you can also buy stencils that you've seen in this video support, uh, by shopping in the Etsy shop, which also supports the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups. You can also put money in the PayPal tip jar. Uh, I have a Patreon. I have YouTube membership here on YouTube. Um, there's a bunch of different things. Check out the video description because it's all down there. And um, the most important thing besides like, share, and subscribe is to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.